Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. Today in this video we are going to calculate the quantity of steel in a circular column. In my previous video we had calculated the quantity of concrete in circular and rectangular column. The link of which is given in the description must watch that video as well. So at the end of this video you will be able to calculate the number of bars required for any circular column and the number of ties required for that column and you will be able to find the weight of steel required for a given cross section of the column. So you are requested to please stay focused and watch complete video and if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's start our today's topic. So let's assume the height of a column. Let's suppose this is the long section or longitudinal section of the column and height of the column is 3 meters and if we cut the cross section this is the detail of longitudinal bars provided in the circular column which are 6 in numbers. So it is very important to know that minimum numbers of bars in a circular column should be equal to 6. And the diameter of a column is 500 millimeters. Okay. And the clear cover provided is 40 millimeters. And the number of vertical bars is equal to 6. As I told you before, that the minimum number should be equal to 6 in a circular column. And the dia of vertical bars is equal to 20 millimeters. And the number of ties is equal to 8 millimeters. So this is the diameter of vertical bars and this is the diameter of bar which we are going to use for making stirrups or ties okay and the spacing of ties is equal to 150 millimeter this is the minimum spacing that should be provided between stirrups or ties so the next step is uh, basically there are uh, this procedure involves two steps first step is calculation of vertical bars or longitudinal bars and the second step is calculation of ties okay and the calculation uh, as you can say the calculation involves the number of bars uh, and the weight of the bars okay similarly the number of ties and weight of the ties overall we will calculate the quantity of steel in kg okay so by following the first step which is calculation of vertical bars as we know that the length of one vertical bar is equal to h plus ld where h is the height of the column and what is ld ld is actually development length as you can see over here this is the height of the column and this length this extra length is provided which is uh, you can say which is emerging from the footing Okay, this is provided for making a strong bond between the footing steel and column which is called as development length and it is represented by LD as we know that the height is 3 meters which is equal to 3000 millimeters and development length is generally taken as 40 times of dia of bar. Okay, so as the dia of bar is 20 millimeters so this will be equal to this is the total height of a single vertical bar which will be equal to 3800 millimeters okay so the length of one vertical bar is 3.8 meters now as i discussed earlier the total number of bars in a circular cross section are in this column is 6 so total length of vertical bars will be equal to the number of bar which is 6 times the length of a single bar which is 3.8 so the total length will be equal to 22.8 meters so the total length of 20 millimeter bar required for this column is 22.8 meters and the total weight of vertical bars the number of uh, sorry the total length of bars have been calculated which is 22.8 now what will be the weight as the steel is available in the form of 
kgs or tons in the market so you will have to calculate or you convert this length into weight so that you can purchase steel from the market so you will have to calculate the unit weight of a bar by unit weight means the uh, weight of 1 meter long bar okay so this formula will be used to calculate the unit weight of a bar in meters which is d square divided by 162.162 as the diameter of a longitudinal bar is 20 millimeters so it will be 20 square divided by 162.162 it will be equal to 2.47 kg now this is the weight of 1 meter long bar having diameter 20 millimeters as we know that the total length of a bar is 22.8 so multiply this unit weight with the total length of the bar you will get the total amount of vertical bars as you can say the total weight of the vertical bars required for this column which is 56.32 kgs now coming towards tie the length and weight of vertical bars have been calculated now we will discuss about tie and what will be the diameter of tie as this is the second step and the diameter of bar which we are using for ties is 8 millimeters okay and the diameter of tie will be equal to d which is the diameter of the column gross dia of the column but we will have to subtract clear cover to find the diameter of the tie as clear cover is provided around uh, you can say around the steel okay so this concrete cover will have to be deducted which will be equal to 500 which is the diameter of the column minus 2 times 40 40 is the clear cover so the diameter of stirrup will be equal to 420 millimeters or you can say the radius will be equal to 110 millimeters and the cut length of one tie cut length of one tie uh, it's mean that how much length of steel will be required to make a circular shape for this column okay so it will be equal to 2 pi r which is the circumference of the circle or you can say the circumference of a tie plus hook as you can see over here there are two hooks as stirrups are provided in this form okay you will have to provide a hook to provide better encourage okay between concrete to make a better bond between concrete and steel you will have to bend and have to provide some extra length to embed it into the concrete so this is called hook and then there is 90 degree bend as you can see over here here is 90 degree bend and there are two number of 90 degree bends and two number of hooks as you can see over here there are two number of hooks and two number of 90 degree band so by putting values 2 as 2 is the number of hooks and 10 d the length of the hook should be equal to 10 times diameter of the bar this is the length of the hook it should be equal to 10 d and minus the deduction the bend deduction will be uh, done over here as I told you before there are two number of bands and for 90 degree the bend deduction is two times of diameter of that bar which we are using for stirrup so it will be equal to 2 times 10 times 8 okay 8 is the diameter of the stirrup bar okay here as you can see over here 8 is the diameter of the stirrup bar and 2 is that is 2 times dia of bar and there are 2 90 degree bends and by simplifying this value we will get the cut length of a tie this is the cut length of a single tie which is 0 0.81 meters I hope you are getting my point okay so as we have calculated the cut length of a single tie is 0 0.81 meters and the stirrups are provided at 150 millimeters center to center so by calculating the number of ties we will use this formula that is total length this is the height of the column okay divided by spacing the spacing is 150 millimeters between the stirrups plus one this will be equal to 
ट्वेंटी वन नंबर सो ट्वेंटी वन नंबर ऑफ स्टेरअप्स विल बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस हाइट ऑफ द कॉलम इफ यू प्लेस दीज स्टेरअप्स एट वन फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर सेंटर टू सेंटर ओके सो द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द टाई बार्स विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन विच इज नंबर ऑफ टाइज एंड द कट लेंथ ऑफ ईच टाई जीरो पॉइंट एट वन मीटर्स सो सेवनटीन मीटर स्टील ऑफ एट मिलीमीटर डाया विल बी रिक्वायर्ड to make stirrups for this or uh, to make ties for this column okay so now coming towards the calculation of weight as the formula of unit weight of a bar is d square divided by 162 and the uh, diameter of a uh, bar which we are using for ties is 8 mm so it will be equal to 0.395 kg this is the bar uh, weight of 1 meter long bar of 8 mm okay and the total weight of the tie bars will be equal to 17 times 0.395 as this is the total length of 8 mm bar required and this is the unit weight of 8 mm bar so it will be equal to 6.71 kg so this is the weight of the steel which we are going to use for making ties and its weight will be equal to 6.715 kg okay i hope you have uh, learned everything now let us summarize uh, this topic okay so for this column we have calculated the total length of vertical bars which is 22.8 meters and the diameter of vertical bar was 20 millimeters and the total weight of vertical bar required for this column will be equal to 56.32 kg and the cut length of a single tie is 0.81 meters and the total length of tie bars will be equal to 17 meters having diameter 8 millimeters at the rate of or you can say at the spacing between these tie will be 150 millimeter from center to center and the total weight of tie bars will be 6.71 kg so this was a very simple and easy task i have made a number of videos for quantity calculation of steel uh, bricks and concrete the link of those videos is given in the description also watch that videos and in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today